Okay, so the retention piece that holds the belt clip to the holster. Earlier in the videos, I was talking about the stitch groove, and I said make sure you come in a little bit, give yourself room so when you sand, they don't end up on the edge and you run out of room. On this piece, however, it's critical that you keep it close, close to the edge because you have to make way for this, this belt clip. And if you make your stitch lines too close and it interferes with this belt clip, you're never going to be able to stitch this piece, okay? So I'm just passing that along. What I like to do and what works for me is I go through all my processes, I stain it, I beveled their, yep, beveled these edges, and I've also slicked these edges. I put a coat of edge paint on there because once I attach this to the main part of the holster, you're, it's, it's too finicky to try to get a brush or anything that close to this piece, okay? So I finished all my steps, and basically what I do, and I'm going to try to get this on camera, I set this where I want it to be. Now I want this I want this belt clip as high to here as I can get it because once I put this on the holster, I don't want this to become a high ride holster. I want this to be a concealment holster. So I want this as far in my waistband as I can possibly get it. I hope that makes sense. All right. So what I do is I situate where I want this belt clip to be. I take a, a small punch and I mark right at the top of the belt clip. And I also mark where that hole is going to go. And that's going to be for our screw. Okay, now we're going to assemble the belt clip to the retention piece. This is under tension. It's a uh, spring steel. Okay. What I do is after I get these two processes done, I cut that and punch the hole. Now it's just a matter of spreading this apart a little bit and sliding the back. Hopefully I'm on camera. The back through the slot. And what I do is I pull up on this piece because you really, I mean, it won't be seen, but I try not to scratch this piece up too bad. And it can be a little tight. And there it is, right there. Now what I do is I'll straighten the back to where that hole is. Now I know everything's even and straight, and hopefully you can see that. I'm not going to hit any of those stitch lines. What we're going to do now is we're going to attach this piece to here. Earlier in the videos, I marked these out with real light with the punch to tell me exactly where this piece is going to go on the holster. So we're going to attach that. We're going to glue it down. But now you don't want to, you want to rough this area up a little bit because the, the barge cement or whatever glue you're using will adhere better to a rough surface, better than a flat surface. And that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to follow these lines, make sure I don't go outside of them. I'm just going to take something sharp and just kind of go into them and then possibly a little piece of sandpaper just to scuff this, this part up. There's a lot of different contact cement out there. I prefer barge, it's a little more expensive than most, but there's a reason why most leather workers or holster makers use this. Great product, super sticky, lasts forever. Use it in a ventilated area. It is very, very strong. It will definitely, definitely get you high. All right, make sure you're safe with this stuff. We scuffed up the leather. This is already, this is the rough side of the leather anyway. So what I'm going to do, and you don't want to, you want to go kind of sparingly. I mean, you don't have to glob this on. A thin coat works really well. You don't have to put it on real, real thick. I'm going to coat both sides. With any contact cement you use, if you don't know, you want to coat both sides that you're putting together. The adhesion is much better. So what I do is carefully go around. I get it on the belt clip itself also. 
try to avoid getting it on the front. If you do get some on the front of the piece, you can kind of let it dry and kind of roll it off if you're real careful and real lucky. But do your best to be careful with it. So nice thin coat. That's that one. Now here's where my marks on the leather come in handy for those glue marks that I did off my pattern. So now I'm not really guessing. I know exactly where I can and can't go with this, with this cement. Just makes my life a lot easier. And there you go. Simple and easy. Nice thin coat. Now we're going to let this dry. Okay, that's going to do it for this part of the series. We're going to let this cure and uh, set up for 24 hours, keep it pressed, put it somewhere out of the way. And after I take the clamps off, we'll, uh, we'll go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And there's an estimated 49,000 homeless vets out there, guys. They've done their part. We should do ours. Let's give them a hand. Be safe out there, and I'll see you on the next one.